I'm Dr. Brittany Kamai, and today I'll be talking about reframing networking. When I was coming up in my field, I would often hear this term, go ahead and build your network, and then whenever you need something, use your network. And I felt that those two words just really was inauthentic, and it made me really nervous to the point that I wouldn't talk to anyone at all. And I didn't want to frame it as though I'm going to use this person and it was going to be some sort of transaction. I wanted to learn who people were and I wanted to become friends with them. So I started framing it as though, how can I make friends with people in my field? And friends is a very broad term and it's people that I feel that I trust them and I know what they're working on and that when later I'm going in a transition and I need to talk to someone to try to figure out what ideas or options to have, those are the people that I'm going to call. And that's the kind of framing that would help my mind instead of saying, oh, I need to use my network and figure out what that is. So I bring that to you as hopefully helping you reframe and uh, not be so worried about interacting with folks. And I think that if you, for me, it's at least if I wasn't thinking about like, I need to connect with this person because my future depended on it, rather, how can I learn from them? It helped me interact with them exactly as who I am. So uh, some things that'll help if you're going to a conference, then you can practice your spiel. So look in the mirror, figure out what you're going to say, say, I'm Brittany Kamai, or whatever your name is. And what institution that you come from, what research that you work on, maybe you can even talk about something you learned in the past session. That way you're giving the other person information to kind of build off of. So I've also prepared a few questions that I could always go to as my default questions. So sometimes someone will interact with you and say hi and their name and not much else. So you can ask them what research they're doing, you can ask them what institution they're at, if they like the department that they're in, what kind of events the department has. Oftentimes you can learn about what other schools and universities do and then bring it back to your home institution. And I also learned this really interesting question that tur turned out to be a really fruitful way of, of connecting with people. So um, oftentimes if you ask the question, what kind of research are you doing? We, go into our default spiel and we say, oh yes, we work on trying to understand black holes and the universe and we build interferometers and that type of thing. But I found that if I asked the person, what kind of tools do you use to answer that question? We'd have really fruitful conversations. I learned about theoretical frameworks for studying neutron stars. I would talk to folks who are other, um, who are other experimentalists who use similar technology and we can we can cross notes about what uh, what kinds of uh, optics or hardware they're using and maybe share uh, some companies that we like. And so that question of asking what tools you use to answer those questions has been really, really exciting. So I look forward to hearing what questions you come up with and good luck going out there and making friends in your field. I wish you the best. Take care.